So a couple of weeks ago I was looking for another GTX 1060 with better cooling to replace mine when I came across the MSI Gaming X GTX 1060. So this is the card that arrived. It is an MSI GTX 1060 6GB Gaming X and the GTX 1060 is still the most used GPU on Steam in 2020. It has a base clock of 1569 MHz, which is 4% higher than the reference GTX 1066 GB, and it has a boost clock of 1784 MHz, which again is a 4% increase over the reference GTX 1066 GB. It also has 6 GB of GDDR5 VRAM, so this is a slightly beefed up GTX 1060. This card also requires an 8 pin power connector compared to the reference GTX 1060 6GB which requires a 6 pin. This card then should be great for cooling, which was the main reason that I bought it as my EVGA single fan GTX 1060 was getting too hot under load. However, this card is made for overclocking in mind. I haven't overclocked mine yet but if I need to in the future, I should be able to get a good overclock on this and gain some extra performance. So I put this in my Ryzen 5 2600 system to see how it performs in some games. So the first game that I tried out was CSGO. This is with the low settings and shadows set to high with the 1080p resolution. We saw an average of 175 FPS with a 1% low of 0 FPS and a 0.1% low of 0 FPS. However, these figures were taken from an online game which did to seem to be stuttering a bit for some reason uh, but after trying another game there was no stutter so I expect this was a server side issue so I'd expect to see 0.1 FPS 0.1% um, low of 80 or 90 in this title the next game that I tried out was GTA 5 with the graphical settings maxed out and the advanced graphics options turned off At the 1080p resolution as well. I saw us get an average of 120 FPS and a 1% low of 63 FPS and a 0.1% low of 40 FPS in the GTA 5 built-in benchmark, which really surprised me as I was not expecting to see such a good result with this card. Next I tried Halo the Master Chief Collection at the highest possible settings and the 1080p resolution. This netted us an average frame rate of set 278 fps that, that's how much it was like it shocked me um a one percent low of 119 fps and a 0.1 percent low of 62 fps this really impressed me and shows how the game is optimized and i would like to see how this runs on some older cards but yes this game runs halo great the next game that i tried out was Forza Horizon 4 and it was the benchmark test that's built into the game. The game still has a few issues as it is a PC port from console but it's still a great game on the PC. The average frame rate was 75 FPS with a minimum of 63 FPS and a maximum of 91 FPS again in the in-game benchmark. With a mixture of high and ultra settings at the 1080p resolution again. Now, this game that I've added recently to the lineup, and this is Dirt Rally 2.0. This is also the latest game that I tested today on the PC, only being released in February of 2019. This ran flawlessly on average at 88 FPS with a 1% low of 72 FPS and a 0.1% low of 62 FPS with the high preset selected and the 1080p resolution. This just goes to show how optimised Codemasters have been with their PC games lately and it shows with the consistent frame times. The final game that I tested out was City Skylines with the high preset and the 1080p resolution again. This gained us an average of 63 FPS, a 1% low of 42 FPS and a 0.1% low of 15 FPS. So this game performed the worst in terms of frame times compared to the other games that were tested today. However, Paradox, who made this game, are well known for their poor optimization on this game, especially with graphics cards.
So, to conclude, should you buy a GTX 1060 6GB in 2020? Well, yes, of course. They are a great to run 90% of all new and popular games at 1080p with the high settings for a decent price. If you really want one of these, they can be picked up for as low as £130 to £140 for a single fan version, but these can get hot under load. For me, this is exactly what I wanted, as my old EVGA GTX 1060 was running great, but just got too hot for me under load. As you can see from today's testing, this GTX 1060 6GB was just over 65 degrees under full load. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.